All right, we've got a nice sunny day here. I got the flowers are popping in the backyard. If you watched my last video, you saw I had trouble with the sun using this Thumb Pro setup. And uh, I was just flying around with the regular protective lens on it. And uh, I thought since I got some good sun here today, I'm going to try out each of the filters. Just doing a little quick loop face out into the sun, then film the flowers, come back in, land, and uh, progress through each of the filters and just see what the results look like. So let's give it a shot.
Well, that was a pretty interesting test. I have already reviewed the, the footage and uh, it was nice to see that uh, when I went to the ND8 that I got rid of that sun flare or the lens flare that you get from direct directly filming into the sun and uh, that didn't really improve that whole lot more going from the to the 16 or the 32. What I did notice as I was adding filters was the the depth of the green in the foliage of the flowers was getting more washed out. Yes, some of that's due to uh, the change of the exposure level in the auto exposure feature of the camera. And yes, you can probably recover a bunch of that with uh, color grading in post. But in general, I kind of believe it just should capture the, the full uh, natural colors into the camera and then deal with any adjustments. From that later so I guess my normal policy is as it's been fly with the just a protective filter and unless I have really strong sunny days where I'm going to be forced to kind of have the camera face directly in the Sun and uh, have to uh, deal with that lens flare Sun flare factor I'll probably go with the ND8 and just do a little bit of tweaking uh, in post for any loss of the, the depth of color. Alright, what do you think? Thanks for watching.